to our channel. Today we're showing you 10 of the most common horse diseases that could affect your horse. So that you can look out for the causes, symptoms and treatments. We hope you learn a lot from this and are well informed afterwards. And that's so that you can recognise signs that your horse may be sick. Number one, laminitis. Laminitis is damage or failure of the lamini in a horse's foot. Lamini is like glue and holds the main bone of a horse's hoof, the pedal or coffin bone, in place on the inside of the hoof wall. When the lamini breaks down, it causes the pedal bone in a horse's foot to rotate or sink as there's nothing supporting it. It is most commonly seen to affect ponies who are overweight. The sign, signs of laminitis. Signs of laminitis include being lame in more than one foot, fat pads, dull coat, decreased performance, delayed shedding, lethargic look, sunken back, and the animal will be standing with their front feet out in front of them, leaning on their heels, or they'll have strangely shaped feet with long dish toes and high heels. Treatment. This is an extremely painful condition and there's no long-term cure. Number two, rain scald. Rain scald is caused by a bacteria and generally affects the top of your horse's body. The condition occurs from prolonged wetting of the skin, so you'd see this condition at around winter time. If your horse has rain scald, you know, you'll notice hair loss, followed by crusting and then a scab. This is due to the skin being softened, allowing the bacteria to enter and thrive. Treatment. Preventing further wetting will ensure that new scabs don't form along with cleaning the infected area with dilute warm chlorhexidine mix and some addition anti-inflammatory creams if necessary. Always ask your vet. 3. Mud fever. Mud fever is caused by the same bacteria as rain scald. Bacteria enter the skin on the legs due to prolonged time in wet and muddy conditions. This results in scabbing which peels off to leave red sores underneath. Treatment involves removing the horse from the conditions and keeping him indoors until the sores have healed. Gentle exercise in a dry area help with limb swelling and is very important. Sand can be quite painful to open sores, so exercising in a sand arena should be avoided until the sores have healed. In the early stages, topical treatment involves the use of shampoos and creams, while in more severe cases, antibiotics or anti-inflammatories are required. Number four, poison. There are many different ways your horse can be poisoned. This could be from plants such as lupins, acorns, sycamore seeds, and the most known one, ragwort. They could be poisoned from humans, for example, rat poison left lying around, or, me or medically, such as from blood poisoning. Symptoms of a poisoned horse include diarrhea, constipation, depression, colic, restlessness, breath, breathing difficulties, high temperature, blindness, collapse, tremors, and loss of appetite. Treatment. In this case, prevention is much better than cure, as the horse has few chances of surviving if he's poisoned. You can prevent plant poison by checking your fields regularly for acorns, sycamore seeds, ragwort, lupins, and other poisonous plants. If you don't know if a plant you have near your horses is poisonous or not, block off the area with electric tape until you ask a vet, gardener, or search it on the internet. If you suspect that your horse has been poisoned, here's what you need to do. Number one, stay calm but act quickly. Remove your horse from the source of the poison. Two, call your vet immediately and tell them when, where, and how the poisoning occurred. Three, if needed, put the source of the poison in a plastic bag to give to your vet to analyze. Four, Follow your vet's advice for the treatment extremely carefully. Number five, sweet itch. Sweet itch is a medical condition in equines caused by an allergic response to the bites of female midges. The horse then reacts to the allergy by rubbing himself off objects, resulting in broken hairs, damaged coat, and sometimes bleeding skin and bald patches. Treatment involves eliminating midges from their environment through fly repellents, fly rugs, immunotherapy, symptomatic control, and other alternative medicines. Number six, strangles. Strangles is a highly contagious respiratory infection caused by bacteria that causes the lymph nodes around the jaw to be swollen, thus almost strangling the horse. Symptoms include depression, loss of appetite, difficulty eating, raised temperature, cough, thick yellow discharge coming out of the nostrils, swollen lymph nodes around the throat, and pus coming out of these lymph nodes. 
Treatment involves completely isolating the horse so there's no further contamination. Most horses will recover on their own, but in severe cases, antibiotics are required. Always seek veterinary advice. Number seven, kissing spines. Kissing spines are when a horse's vertebrae and his spine touch or kiss off each other, making it to be extremely painful for the horse. This is from a poor fitting saddle or improper training, causing the horse's head to be up, his back hollow and not engaging his core muscles. Symptoms include bucking, rears, bolts, kicks, shies, head tossing, anxiety, irritable when being groomed, the saddle being placed on and the girth tightened. Also is reluctant to roll or lie down, refuses to move forward or jump, reluctant to canter, difficult to mount, and refusing to go on the bit. Treatment involves physical therapy, strengthening the back muscles, and getting the saddle fitted properly. Number eight, equine asthma. Equine asthma is an inflamed respiratory system due to poor air quality, air filled with dust and dirt. Signs include breathlessness, wheezing, coughing, nasal discharge, and in severe cases, struggling to breathe at all. Removal of all triggering factors through environmental modification, addressing the inf- inflammation in the lung with corticosteroid therapy, use of bron- bronchodilators as necessary for fast relief of the bronchospasm. Number nine, Cushing's disease. Cushing's disease is a tumour found in the pituitary gland, a small pea-sized gland in the brain. The tumour damages the gland, thus excessive hormones are made and go through the body. As a result, a horse with Cushing's disease will have increased coat length, delayed winter shedding, be very tired, might have laminitis, increased sweating, weight loss, drinking and urinating. The disease most commonly affects horses or ponies over the age of 10 with the average age of 19. 65 to 85 percent of horses and ponies are affected in the UK. If you suspect that your horse has Cushing's disease, call your vet immediately as some cases result in death. Number 10. Colic. Colic is a severe abdominal pain from a blockage or knot in the intestines and generally results in death in the horse. There are many reasons for your horse to colic but here are some of the most common. Obesity, sudden change in diet or routine, worms, sand ingestion, stress, dental problems, and long-term use of NSAIDs. Symptoms include pawing at the stomach, bloating, sweating, rolling, distress, loss of appetite or need for water, peculiar positions such as sitting and stretching, and absence of gut sounds. If you suspect colic in your horse, call your vet immediately. While you're waiting for your vet, Monitor your horse's vitals, remove all food, let your horse rest and do not walk your horse unless he's rolling and a danger to people. Do not administrate any medication without the attention of a vet. Well guys, we, we hope you learned a lot from this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And comment down below what video we should do next. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week.